Hi, everyone. Welcome back. It's Rivals of Waterdeep, episode 5, season 10. That puts us at 95 on our road to 100. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. I'm pumped. I'm excited to see you all here. It's another glorious Sunday because I'm here with these wonderful, wonderful people. Let's go around, introduce ourselves, tell them about who you are, what character you're playing, um, and then we can get into a little bit more about the game. First off, starting with Tanya. Hey y'all, uh, live coming to you from New York this week, being yeah. a little different, because this is clearly not the setup you've now seen over the last few weeks. Uh, I'm playing Cleese Astorio, your fallen paladin slash blood hunter. Pronouns for both of us are she, her. Awesome. Moving right along, Sharif. Hey, I'm Sharif, uh, and I'm playing Shaka, tiefling, celestial warlock. Both of us are he, him. Awesome. Next up, Brian. Hi, I'm Brian, a.k.a. Urban Bohemian. I am playing Virgil, the Asimara Storm Sorcerer, and both our pronouns are he, him. Moving right along, Ken. I'm sorry, you and yo. He always does this. <laughs> I do, like, it's one of, it's one of you. It's one of you, yeah. It's on purpose. Are you, mute? are you muted? <laughs> yes, of course I am, because one of us has to be muted for the intro. <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. You're right. Stop it. No, you're <laughs> this way. Stop it. You guys are playing bingo. <laughs> on the chat, I don't know where I am. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Okenyo. I'm DM Jazzy Hens. I don't know how to stream, and I'll be playing Kent, our uh, tiefling uh, phantom rogue, and both of our pronouns are he, him. And the last of our party, but certainly not least, Latia. I'm Latia Gatis. I am playing uh, everybody's favorite. Not quite murder bird and rogue backpack, Jahani. <laughs> Both of our pronouns are she, her. Heck yeah. And then that just leaves me. Hi, I'm Masood. Uh, I am the DM of this campaign, so my pronouns are he, him, but I'll use an assortment of them for the characters that we come across. One of them might be your PC, my PC that you usually interact with, Gazdik Nomrad, whose pronouns are he, him, but that'll be for a later part. Uh, but before we can get into the episode, we, of course, have to thank the great, great, wonderful folks who support us every single week. So, Sharif, would you hit us with those sweet, sweet ad reads? Let's make them sweet. Uh, yeah, so let's start off with Rout. Uh, that was the water deep. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we do kind of sponsor ourselves, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah we do. We we're should. Responsible you should always be your own good. sponsor. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that, that's going to be the first ad every time. Thanks to everyone here for providing their voice talents and everything to this show and their energy. Awesome. Um, then, uh, D&D Beyond, y'all. Um, so we have all our character sheets online. We have access to all the spells and monsters and source book material, all that good stuff. Um, and if you go to dndbeyond.com, you can get access to that stuff as well. Um, and if you are in the live show, in the chat, um, we'll be giving away some source book material. So be on a lookout for the uh, code that you can enter in the raffle. M must be present to win. Um, and if you're not listening to the live show, I mean, you're listening to either the audio podcast or the YouTube, um, make sure to check us out live Sundays, um, at noon central, um, to, uh, and I always have to remember that cause I've switched time zones. So I got <laughs> yeah, to, so do that. uh, but you know, trying to do it, uh, do it right. Um, yeah, uh, our, uh, dice shows and vaults are provided by Wormwood, W-Y-R-M Wood. Um, if you go to wormwoodgaming.com, you can check those out as uh, Brian is modeling for us. Um, and if you use the code RIVALS, um, you can get free domestic shipping on your product. And you can fill that product with some awesome dice. And we're proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. Um, check them out at dieharddice.com. Um, and use the code SHAKA th th this month for... 10% off as uh, yeah. Latia and Eugenio sh sh show off their uh, pieces. And I was not up on Eugenio's nails, which are popping right. uh, as well. The Ooh. nails are popping. Come through. Uh, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, also, if you use minis in your campaign, uh, make sure to check out Eldridge Foundry at eldridge-foundry.com and use the code RIVALSDND for 10% off your of your minis purchase there. Um, if you just want some cool stuff around your place, some mugs, some shirts, some masks, all kind of good stuff um, as uh, Masood sips oh so smoothly from his uh, cup. It's um, cold now, but if it was hot, it would have different temperature effects. You guys know. You know I, my coffee is usually lukewarm by the time the show starts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
make sure to go to stormcrow.stormcrow.com and use the code RIVALS there for 15% off. And if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the RIVALS crew, check out crew.bluemike.com slash RIVALS. Make your purchases there for um, all the Blue Mike stuff and we will get credit for your uh, per- per- purchases. Um, and we have a new rival has been added to the Idol Champions roster. Salus is now available to be unlocked in the game for her. I believe he said like a, a quintillion. Like, it's a, a lot of gold. gold. It's it's gold. So much gold. gold. Yeah, but, she's in yeah. slot you, twelve. Oh, you, you, you can unlock. It's easy to unlock her. Just play through the the dragon down, uh, dragon down campaign. But unlocking her in your formation, that's gonna be a minute. <laughs> yes yeah yeah and 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 the the amount of gold that, that you get does increase exponentially so it does get easier as you go on um but yeah so uh now so now you can so now you 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 can unlock both shaka um and and the sleaze and room has it more rivals may be added soon who knows what um it's it's, it's possible who knows it is uh, um, possible. Gee, I got to read emails, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, too yeah, late. It, too late. You missed your email. Uh, no. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was going to get I was, that, this season. It was going to be a Masood token as the GM. It was going to be great. No, it, 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 it got reported for spam. In, in your, in your oh, no. Account. Uh, uh yes yeah, so, yeah so if 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 you type in exclamation point code in the chat you can get the code for this week's free electrum chess to get some uh, loot um and we have another code as well um if if you type in cipher of tier as exclamation point at the end you'll get a free Celeste chest as well to uh outfit her with that gear um so make sure to check all that out heck yes Thank you guys uh, for sponsoring us, and thank you, Sharif, for giving those sweet ad reads. I believe now I pass it over to our whoosh captain, Latia. Hi, everybody. I hope your whooshing hands are ready, because it's time. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, wait. TK threw me off. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for the unnecessary shots from the chat. Thank you. Wow, that shade, though. Is it accurate, accurate shade? It's so dark in here. All right, let's, All right. let's, let's kind of turn on my lights wrong. again. She's not wrong. <laughs> they, they're not wrong. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. Um, previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Look at those. Bring it. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Chad. So ready. Chat, yeah. uh, so previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Last week was a pretty interesting episode. You guys had met Merit the week before, and he gave you, I believe, a list of items that he needed yes. in oh, yeah. order to uh, complete the trials in the Undermountain uh, to reach the sacred grounds in order to get turn the scale into an egg. And does anyone remember what those items were? Yes. yes. Of course. <laughs> wrote them down. Sure. We don't need to remember. Now, okay, I can almost know. guarantee you that we're going to say them wrong, but yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, um, we had um, one of them had- for sure. Melchimber wine. Yeah. Yes. You guys also got, you got two bottles of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The full yeah, first lot. true something. Full streaming. Yeah, yeah. very oh, good. That's what it yeah. says. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Full first <laughs> uh, Or some sort of fish. Which we have a, me- we have a meeting to meet a full, the full family mm-hmm. for the streaming. <laughs> and we got the Melchimber wine after we met yes. Marzo Melchimber. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Okay. I did. I wrote that down too. Uh-huh. I've been yeah, staring and... at that name in this notebook all week, being like, "Who in the hell was that?" <laughs> it was Marzo. I feel like it was a very my... no, no. You guys handle it very well. It's a very efficient. Like the Melshaber family, as you guys learned, were you know they're about trading information and find wine, right. and you Legit. guys were ready. Yeah. In my in my best Robin Leach, which this is a reference that goes over. We had like the best lifestyles of the rich and famous wow. of war today. Wow. That's the good. Oh, we wow. literally had like that. A- we were. Like, wow, 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 wow. That family, that family, okay, uh, that family, that yeah, family, no. okay. That <laughs> met, you all, you all also met with the Langolan family as well. That was really good. You met with that Arthur. Was yes. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was so awkward. Was a big, big fan, you know? Yeah. That, that was pretty awkward. Um, got a little for, too big. 
Not too big. So then the only thing we have left on the list is the toothbreaker hook that we apparently can get from the inn of the dripping dagger. Yes. Yeah. In yeah. The trade award. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah, w- w- one thing with the Mouse Member wine, too, is we basically, oh, they're going to be the exclusive uh, right. provider <laughs> in Troll School Manor. Right. Uh, should we ever decide to, should we ever decide to sell, they have the exclusive. They yeah, have which, the of exclusive. course, probably means, should Gazric ever find out? <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, should Gazric right, wait. Who, who, or duo who, ever who? find out? What was that <laughs> name? Who? Oh, oh, who is that? Who is that? that? What's that name? Yeah. What you say? What? Um, I feel like I haven't um, seen them in like four or five episodes. So, so long. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break this and say, um, the gifts that RTC takes of us when when Masood said hat, and we all oh, thought yeah, he said it. hand, and all of our faces <laughs> were like, right. I'm sorry, what? Uh, yeah. Hat. No, no, no. So no. that was uh-huh. wow. <laughs> that was perfect. So yeah, Gonsrick has been missing for a while. And uh, even though we haven't said anything, we are clearly very concerned. Very, <laughs> um, very concerned. So concerned. And uh, so Luis received mm-hmm. a package uh, towards the end of the All episode right. containing a letter mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Gosrick's hat. 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 Yes, hat. Oh. Not his head. Hat. Not his head. Not his hands. No. His hat. No. Those are his all. Hats. Those are also trite, y'all. They've been done in so many uh, forms. You know the shows. I know the shows. We don't need to say them. Um, yeah, let, hat, hats are fun, man. Hats are personal, you know. It's well, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a note to go meet Arnea alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, alone. Alone. Which then. Alone. Oh, right. Hello. Yeah, Solis yeah. then kind of basically dropped by Canton Virgil's room mm-hmm. l- l- late in the episode, late in the evening, and gave us the note to let us know where she'd be, and gave us the note basically, y'all need to tell everyone this is what's up. Exactly. And then I think that's pretty much where we left off. Everyone else were had finally, after the long day, sort of like settled into their places, while Solis left off in the middle of the night to find out what is going on with Gosrick. Um, So as we get into this episode, um, we are going to pick up, not with any of you all, but a different moment. As we watch a familiar room be lit with a singular candle, its light illuminating, and we see three figures with their hoods and masks that should remind you all of their previous uh, presence. A individual with a mask that of like the comedy face from uh, the theater scene. A mask with a simple face, but a long nose like Pinocchio when he lies. And a mask with a completely reflective front. And as they stand around the table, gathering their documents, shifting them, um, collecting them together, you see the man with the Pinocchio nose uh, looks up and says, well, phase one is complete. We're happy to see things are moving in the proper order. Um, and the man in the uh, comedy face nods and says, wonderful. And phase two commences the moment we have an opportunity. The person with the reflective mask looks at both of them and says, well, we must seize the first one we can. I worry what we thought would happen has happened. And some of the other members of the councils have chosen to involve themselves. It's no matter, it's no concern for, we all know that fool is more lucky than he is right. And I I don't know. I feel things will finally come our way. The other two nod, put their things together. And the Pinocchio mask looks and says, so it's decided then the spies stay and look and we begin the moment we have an opportunity. Yes, they all, uh, the rest of them nod, say yes in their own ways. And the candle blows out as we pull back in to the sky above Waterdeep. Taking a view of a 
raven flying in the evening slash i guess very early morning at this point it's roughly like 3 a.m crossing over we then see it swoop low uh oh looking like it's about to hit someone before cutting off and we stay on the figure that they almost hit Celise, as they're walking down the street on their way to the designated location um what's going through Celise's head tanya Celise is worried and also angry. Mm -hmm. She's angry that Gazer got taken basically right from under them. Angry that this person is, you know, kind of got her got her in a no win situation because in order to save Gazer, she's probably gonna have to do something that she doesn't want to do. Mm -hmm. And she's also like Thinking about her, her chickens coming home to roost of she killed Zaraj, but Zaraj killed her wife, and now it's a never-ending circle of murder. And as you think about this lifelong story, perhaps the sorry, oldest story that we've ever heard, um, mm -hmm. you make your way towards the address, walking down a crossroads before making a right to see your destination. A large, uh, imposing building with two Hawkwinter guards standing up front, their arms crossed. Um, it's a simple brick face, maybe three stories. Um, yeah. And do I see Arnea at all? No. Um, I pull my sword out and slowly approach. You see the guards stand there. Sulis Astoria? Who's asking? This is the Hawk Winter Barracks. We have a prisoner that you're here to bail out? Yeah. Mm. Cool. Uh, well, you can leave your weapons up front. You can keep your wallet. Um, and then once you're done with processing, you can have them. Um, we'll just be out here keeping an eye on things. And she just looks at both of them like, that doesn't match the letter I was sent at all. I'm sorry, did you not receive a proper request? We have your, um, I guess, who listed you as his emergency contract. Uh, but yeah, we can't hold anyone for longer than 72 hours uh, without, you know, proper warranted reason. And he hasn't really given us anything. So you have to kind of come get him. The, I mean, I, you, the letter should have said it's 300 gold dragons. Um, for the no. bail. No, it didn't. Oof. Okay. Um, I mean, so we could out probably of character, do... yeah. Celise has money. Yeah, you guys, uh, you, I don't the, know if but you... But the yeah. letter she got was from Arnea, not mm -hmm. a bail letter. So that's why she's like, what's the catch here? Mm -hmm. Um, well, Make I, it, if you want I to make an it. insight check on that, on that, like, sort of thought, like, what is the catch here? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully my d20 will not roll away. A nat 20. Woo. Being, being away from home has brought me luck. I, You know what? On a nat 20, you see it in a moment. This is Arnea just playing games, showing that mm. she has power and military control and forcing you to have to go through the system to get someone you really care about. Um, and you see that as the guy says, I mean, it's fun if you, I mean, if you don't have it, we can just transfer them to a larger facility. Uh, we got word that folks at Rebels Ends are really excited about maybe getting him. Um, and so, I mean, he'll go away for a little bit and then you'll have to file another work order. It'll be like a few weeks uh, before we can transfer no. him back. Oh, oh. No, that's oh. not how this is going to work. Okay. And Salish just leans into him. It's like, I know you're playing with me. Go get oh. my friend right now. Cool. Um, once again, you have to like sign stuff inside. Like there's you paperwork. can bring paper and him out here. The quill works outside. Go get him. You know, Arnea said that they were going to be difficult. I just like I'm just doing my job. It's a Saturday shift, and the other guy's like J Frank. Just do it. Just it's fine. And you see the one sort of walks in, uh, and the other guy who's standing outside, whose name you didn't get, um, looking at you. And... See a long day. I just start picking my teeth with my blade. 
It's gotta be crazy unsanitary. Yeah. But my I keep my blade clean. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> okay, all right. Sorry. I I try to make small talk. You know, you know, a job's a job, really, you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure is. And you know, no one should die for just doing their job, should they? Wow, look at the birds today, huh? <laughs> And uh, he proceeds to not make eye contact with you for the rest of the interaction. As uh, you watch Gazric eventually being let out by Frank, uh, this Hawk Winter Guard who keeps scuffling. Um, and you see Gazric is he, how he would look after a fight, you know? And see, you've seen him in a couple scraps. He's got mm -hmm. a couple cuts on him. There doesn't seem to be anything like terribly broken, but he is bruised a little bit. Um, and you see him walking is, uh, uh, what's it called? You, you watch, um, his fingers have been interwoven with string, so he can't use any spells. Uh, his mouth has been sort of stuffed, so he can't use any incantations. Uh, his beard is, uh, fully detangled and braided, so there is nothing that he could hide in between it to use as components for anything. Uh, wow. And you watch as his pockets have been outturned moving forward. Um, and he walks forward and you watch his, um, you see him for the first time without his hat. Uh, and Gosric is not bald. He just has a perfect ring of hair. His beard continues around over the top of his head. And then from the backside, you can't tell it's shaved or if it's just completely, just, just, it just never, never grew there. Um, he's oddly completely even on tone though. It's like he somehow tans, you don't want to ask about it. Um, but he, he's there in front of you, fingers bound um, with his pocket certain hair, uh, beard braided. Um, and you see Frank says, all right, yeah, 300 uh, gold dragons. Um, pulls out a clipboard. You just kind of sign here, initial here. And then if you uh, list the residence where you'll be keeping him for like four future court dates, so we know where to contact. I, I ignore him and I actually kneel down and like start taking the, the stuffing out of Goswick's mouth. And I like tip his head to each side to look him over. And then I look at Frank. I look back at Gosrick. Was all this necessary? I've been asking them that this entire time. You didn't even have a charge to keep him here for 72 hours. Why is he beaten? That is a really good question, Frank says. And honestly, if I had more pull here, I would ask the people involved. But I kind of gotta eat, so I'm not gonna. Um, I, I come on, I already, I already, like, I didn't make you, you, you didn't, you weren't gonna go inside. I brought him out. I like, I, can we, can we just get this over with without me losing something? You my could job. lose some teeth. Yeah, or my teeth. That would see, like, either or would be great. Hmm. And I'm taking my sweet time inspecting Gosrick, making mm -hmm. sure he's unbound, stuffing his pockets back in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, where are his belongings? They, well, they took my hat. I don't know if they still have it. Um, and then they threw out everything in my beard. So I don't, um, this is basically what I got. Mm. I like, uh, I take my time and I kind of clean Gosrick off as best I can and, mm. and lay on hands to help him. And I stand up and I just, I sign this after I read through it, but I give him a totally fake address. I don't, I don't dare put down Troll's Cold Manor. Mm -hmm. I put down my address in Tarami. <laughs> nice. That's going to make, he looks down like, oh, thank you. My paperwork too. <sighs> okay, fine. That's fine. That's okay. Um, you have a great day. I just like I look at him and it's like I just still have my sword out like oh you haven't put it away it's it, it no. stayed yeah the entire time nope and I just kind of like I I come toward him I still have like Gosric behind me yeah 
And I'm like, if I see you or your guard near my friends again, this will be the nicest you see me. Mm-hmm. Are we clear? Crystal, I will send that up up the chain of command. I also want you to know they do as much respect as you're giving me is kind of what I get at work anyways. So it's 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 probably not gonna affect much. I'm I'm sorry, I just want to be honest with you. I don't care about you. I don't care about the respect you get or don't get at this job. You chose this job. I don't care. Bill, you still looking at all those birds? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at them. They are great. Uh, and you watch him realize being a cognitive machine is crushing him. Um, Good. Good. <laughs> mm-hmm. The gif. I need the gif that's like, <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> And as you guys walk away, uh, Gajik's with you. He's like, no, thank you for coming. I really would have, they, unfortunately, I did not bring my wallet with me. Otherwise, I would have paid myself. I'll pay you back, of course, as soon as we get back home. Yeah, she uh, she totally gave that dude fake gold. Ooh. Don't ask where she got it. She just had it. Okay. Fake gold. Don't mind me writing that down. Um, and as you guys are walking along your way, uh, are you do you tell Gazer that? Or are you are you gonna? Oh, no, no, oh no, I don't tell you. Okay, you're gonna gold. make three hundred dollars, three hundred dragons off. Uh, absolutely. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. You drag you're dragged out here in the middle of the night because of him. Uh, well, now at the beginning of the day, and as the sun begins to crest, uh, you watch him. The lay on hands helped. Like you see, a lot of his wounds are sort of closed up. It, it looks to be like some scabs and stuff that will go away. Nothing seems to be too permanent. Um, and he's like starts talking to you a little bit. It's like, yeah, it was weird. I like got there um, to the Velvet Turtle, and uh, first off, huge crowd outside. Thought it was because it was so popular, you know. Like I said, that was not the reason. Apparently, um, they said you guys beat up some guards, and then that they were like, yeah. See, I and I did that face. I was like, that seems very unlikely. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not even there. I'm the rowdy one. We know this. Like the resident bad boy of Waterdeep. This yeah, morning. yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. It's early in the morning. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's Anyways, go. so they they kept going on and on, and they kept trying to ask me about like they really want to know if like we had a deed to the Troll Skull Manor, like if we had a land title to the actual manor itself, and I was like. W- I didn't know how to lie about this, so I kept kind of dodging the question. Because honestly, I don't know. And I didn't want to say yes or no. It felt like a bad play to misgive that. So that might be something we might want to talk about back at the place. But anyways, I kept them really busy. Um, they like tortured me for a little bit, but I was talking about this like new format of currency I'm developing um, from a unique strain of mushroom-based coins. Um, you know, it's kind of made from their caps. I'm going to call it monofungal tokens or MFT for short. Mm, Um, You know, they weren't really interested, but one of the guards got really mad about the ecological footprint because they would need a lot of land and water. Um, But I mean, I get it, but that's hot. Anyways, I'm glad. It was a whole whole time. It's too early. I had to come out here in the middle of the night. I nearly had to stab a man and they beat you up for no reason. No, I get the reason. It's to prove a point. Someone doesn't like us. Really? I couldn't tell. Yeah. It's it's just, this feels like too much, right? Like, I don't know. in, 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 you know, at Revel's End, someone doesn't like you. You settle it out on the yard or... I know in a game of chess, you know, it's it's really respected either way. But here are the moves, the 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 scheming, the the amount of effort that's going in. I don't I don't understand it. This seems far fetched for even the things that we've done over the course of our adventures. Mm-hmm. We don't know where Rin currently is. We don't know where that bard is hmm. bard uh, we had a bard in our party for a while oh okay uh, 
this I wonder I don't know I have no reason to I can't think of anything hmm. well I don't know maybe it looks like you had a long night as well let's go get some rest and I don't know, I'll make us some breakfast when we get back who's been cooking while I've been gone Unfortunately, Brian the Brain. Is he any good? No. Ah, shucks. <laughs> I really, I really thought he had promised. Okay. Uh, no. And you all walk back. Uh, what's going on at Troll School Manor at this point? Because I think you probably get back at like let's say nine a.m. from walking all the way there. Because uh, you left at like four. From oh my god, how far away was wow. this? You this is I like walk. you have to go into the Hawk Winter like yeah, a ha- uh, Hawk Winter Guards like territory like really Ooh. into their home course i would say it's like let me pull up the map um what's it some like lord of the rings-esque walking <laughs> i need some eagles to get them there it's good yeah. <laughs> it's you know what's terrible about water deep no one says it no public transit not yet they really they really need to invest um super beneficial um but you uh it's because you guys are in the South Ward, it's probably like, yeah, it was, uh, it, knowing where they are, they'd be based in the C Ward, so which is like kind of, oh my god, all the way northwest, it's yeah, the wealthiest, a, it, it's where the Hawk Winter Guard is the wealthiest. Yeah, was, uh... yeah. Oh, that was a long walk. I'm gonna be hungry and mad. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, yeah, that's so at least it's full hangry. Yeah, oh, hangry, I mean, tired. Yeah, look, she needs her bath. No. no. Oh, and I think like it's guys would recognize as soon as you get back, he makes his way into the kitchen. Um, what is the state of uh, Troskol Manor when he arrives? Like, what is everyone? Uh, what is the state when he and uh, Celise get back? What's going on inside? I think at like nine. Yeah, I'll like nine. It's, nine or... yeah. it's a little later. Never mind. Wait, in the like morning, evening, morning, 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 morning. nine a.m. So you guys, like, yeah, last night you probably like got back, went to bed. Um. Um, I would say that after Sleece dropped the note off with Kent and Virgil, mm-hmm. we, yeah, we absolutely went to everyone else's rooms to say like, "Here's what's up." Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all remember that Gazrick person? Well, apparently, this is what's up. <laughs> and and the thing is. From the note that we got, from the note Ken Verbal got, we would have been like, so Solis has gone to meet Arnea to essentially duel it out. And Gosric is like Arnea's claim. That's what Kent and Virgil would have told um, Dahani and Shaka. So right. we are like any movement at the door, any, any like creak or dust or whatever selling at the door, we're all like, hmm? I think. It's clear you all are already gathered at the front of the desk, uh, at the front desk where the check-in usually happens at Troll School, just sort of eyeing the front doors, waiting for anyone who'd come in. Oh, except yeah. except me, I'm mm. I'm on the roof. Ooh, perfect. What time did you get up there? Have um, you been there all night? I've not been up there all night. I know we mm-hmm. have like a there's a turret, like there's, there's like a like a turret thing up there. Mm-hmm. Probably as soon as I woke up, mm-hmm. I uh, I went up there and. I've been sitting in there and then occasionally I will do like a fly around yeah. of the, let's say the block that we are on mm-hmm. um, and then come back mm-hmm. just to keep an eye out. Just keeping it. Too far. I think after making a few, not on the first pass, maybe the second, as you get closer to time, you see uh, Gosric, uh without his cap, note his weird hairline um, and watch, uh, Tan, uh, sorry, Solis and uh, them make their way. It's, this is a bad day for it. I'm so sorry. As they're <laughs> making their way to Troll School Manor. Um, and then uh, what's going on with Shaka and uh, Kent? So once Shaka found out, um, mm-hmm. once uh, Kent and Virgil let, let him know, he uh, basically talked to Duo about basically closing the end of guests. Mm. So I put up a sign in front that says, like, you know. Wait, wait, wait. Godric's gone for a few days, and you want to stop making money? 
That would be a disservice yes. to his memory. <laughs> we don't even know. Like, seriously. It, it would be, but, uh, you know, like, Tahani just got uh, quite a bit of money here, so I don't think we'll be short on anything. Really? Uh, I mean, soon. it's crazy because uh, our books have not noticed the proper logging of these funds. It seems like you all are keeping them to yourselves, not putting them towards the manor. Well, Thank you. it's it's the uh, you know it's something that uh, we can talk about once Gosrick, our our official accountant, gets here. Um, <laughs> but but we just had a pretty harrowing ex experience, so I'm gonna. I think we should close it. Um, I already gave uh, Brian some <laughs> instructions to uh, oh, yeah. you know be uh, fairly aggressive on anyone that he doesn't. Uh, mm -hmm uh re recognize so um you know I, I don't want any guests caught in any potential crossfire so uh yeah perfect and uh i think duo eventually understands the situation after you describe a little bit and he's like all right it's fine we'll do some re revamping we'll open up some rooms you know the billiard room could actually get a lot of traffic if folks could figure out where it was <laughs> that's so true fun. There's a secret yeah, message I, to it. Yeah, I, I was not even aware of it until we saw you playing last time. So, yeah. um, when we reopen, like we could definitely may, maybe have some signage to it, or maybe uh, maybe have it in one of the packages. You know, like yeah, day at night plus billiard at plus game room access. I like this. I like this idea. We could even offer personal tours to a vernish. Think about that, Shaka. We got the portal. You could get take people yeah. in an extended feature. It's like an adventure uh, stay. I don't know about that. Uh, that's that, that's a little harrowing. Okay, um, well, there's no bad ideas in brainstorming, so we'll just keep talking about it. My people, your people. In the meantime, I'll I'll make sure that the in mana is closed. Um, and as you both get in the process of it, uh, you watch as uh, Gazrik pushes open the door, followed by Celise into the manor. Do, and, followed, just, and followed by me because I would do you swoop I, in? Yeah. Once I saw them, I would have I would have actually like gone down to them and yeah. mm -hmm. you know just seeing the look on Salisa's face, knowing that she is she look. Do you look hangry? <laughs> oh, I absolutely look hangry. And if you like just land behind me, it may not end well for you. <laughs> no, no, no. I will. I land in front of you all. I announce my presence. <laughs> Hello, hi. Uh, from above. Hello. Sort of glad you're back. Good to Salise, be back. Oh, let's get food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. I've missed my my kitchen. Okay. Um, and who wants some spider egg scramble? And he begins to make his way in. Uh, hello, Kent. Hello, Virgil. Good to see you all. Good morning. Good morning. I'm fine. You know. Um, oh. and as he's yeah. Gosric, I'm like, here. I can you cast find locate person? We're Never mind. Were you about to ask? We him have your hat. Spell? Never mind. We have your hat. <laughs> I'm very glad you're back. I'm back, and I I'm here now. And thank you. Good. Oh, he puts his hat on. <sighs> My God, that hat is bloody. <laughs> wash it. I okay, will wash it person, later. Really? It's just it's 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 a thing. I miss it. It's nice to be back with it. Um. Okay. And he makes his way into the kitchen and is like, all right, come in here. It's easier for me to talk to you um, and explain everything. I already told Celise a lot. And he sort of fills you in on everything that he sort of learned. I imagine you guys share sort of what's been going on uh, back and forth. Um, and after he gets the spider egg scramble uh, put together and um, I got a roll. Wait, those eggs that Virgil made for everyone last week were spider eggs? I don't know. They, if I, I Brian don't know. said they came from a kitchen. Chicken. I think Brian has his own <laughs> eggs. Chicken kitchen. What? And I think. <laughs> I don't know, just, yeah. I, I, I have one small concern. Like, yeah. if, if we're making spider egg scramble, like, there shouldn't have been any shells because yeah. spider eggs are very soft. Exactly. I have so many questions. Exactly. Oh, I am so concerned. What did I feed y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, the thing, Gosrick's ingredients are in Gosrick's cupboard. There's a reason why nobody cooks Gazrick's meals but him. Uh, and like most of them, it's a prime. Ooh, it's 18 plus four. It's a 22. It's a great breakfast. Um, it hits the spot. It's right. oddly, there's you saw no cheese go in, but it's cheesy. 
I, you don't get it. It's you, delicious. Every time I'm you describe concerned. more of this. That is... <laughs> Roll the 22. I have no further questions. <laughs> yeah. I am concerned. Mm -hmm. I am very concerned hey. right now. <laughs> In this case, like, he's, like, Shock has no, no questions. Oh. He has no concerns. He assumes that, you know, just the magic of God's just cooking... He just light of handed some teas in there, and I and we didn't notice. It's cool. The more Masood says, the more concerned I become. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you let your own imaginations fill yourself in on what this surprisingly delicious breakfast tastes like. Mm. Um, but but Gazrik with a forkful of it um, takes it out, chews, and goes. But really, the the question I want to ask, um, the question, sorry, I lost the voice for somebody, Gazrik. Uh, yes, the question I want to ask <laughs> to you all is, um, does anyone have, like, do we have a legal claim? To, are we squatting? Have we been squatting this entire time? Here? Yes, in the manor. No. No, we have a deed. We, uh, so we do have a deed. Good, 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 good. I mean, unless unless Duo, like, let our bills lapse again, yes, we have a deed. <laughs> no, <laughs> Duo's like, no, you, no, no, no. Since Gary came been, on. You've been paying bills for the place. Yes, we, right? I, but it's weird because I sort of stepped in and you had debts and the debts that were created seem to have been from Duo taking out the loans and using the Troskel Manor as collateral, but it what? didn't really look like... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, but I paid them off. They're all done. They're taken care of. Like, those are the first thing I came in was sort of squared the way everything Duo had had. Everything else... I been... turn around and look at Duo. I'm sorry, you were doing what? Yeah, well, the guy said it was a really good deal and it was a perfect time to refinance. And so oh. I thought that this was our time to really like make it big um and look at us now with the Did time you take out a reverse based, mortgage based on, on this conversation <laughs> when duo's not old enough for a reverse mortgage he's five <laughs> i'm 500 you don't know how long i've been a ghost <laughs> i'm just i like have my sword and i'm gonna like i'll show you you're a ghost oh. i'll show you you're a ghost <laughs> like to scare him <laughs> He thinks he's dead. <laughs> That'll make it even funnier. Yeah. <laughs> like Solis is about to break that illusion right now. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, you look, your sword went right through me. Of course I'm a <laughs> Oh god. That's not no, a catch up. No. Uh, okay. But and, and I, you <laughs> <how's it going? laughs> I, I think I, I think Serena would apparate into this chat somehow if yeah. I did that to do yeah <laughs> let's 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 let, let's back up to the you used troll skull manor to which and he looked it, it, Virgil's like you have a deed and duo used the manor as collateral therefore you must own it okay that's good. All right. I, 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 we just need to find it. I don't know where do you guys keep it in the manner. It, I, it's still. I've been here for a while. I still haven't been everywhere. Yeah, I mean, like, do. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna do it and say, I mean, do it like you've had it like before. So. Mm -hmm. Where where do you keep the deed? Oh, um, uh, he rolls in eleven on his intelligence check, and he's like, "I think it's downstairs. It's definitely downstairs. It's definitely in the basement somewhere, probably with all the other files. That would make sense. That would make sense, right?" You have a basement. Other files. Yes. Guys, we have a base. Do you guys not see these other staircases? And he like pulls uh, like a torch and a staircase like turns around. They've always been here. And even Salise is like, yeah, where do you think my workshop is? Yeah. I've yeah, never been basement. in the basement. To be fair, I, we, we, we were mostly just concerned with getting Kent a big enough room. That's fair. For all of his clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, there's also. No, I meant for us to stay in his clothes, have another room. Oh. oh. Wait, they oh. do? Are they paying rent? <laughs> Should I be? I'm sorry. Are we charging? <laughs> wait, wait. Are we starting to charge rivals for rent? Guys are saying, no, 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 no. no I meant no. said we could use the rooms that we needed for our 
Stop. I'm right. relax, Virgil. Okay. It's it's okay, guys. Anyways, most of my storage and anyway, from the uh, shop, all of our knickknacks and and goodies, they're downstairs. Anyways, I I'll I'll find it. I'll spend some time. I'll scourge it up. Um, it sounds like though you guys have your own stuff going on with this. Shaka, you, your dragon scale got lifted and then got, it came back to you. Like that's a wild time. I've just been in a cell for like three days. Well. So the weird thing is, though, so you, you invite, you got us all to go to that bar. Yeah, because I had like the, the turtle dove. There was a coupon on my stack of mail. Yeah, that looked, the the velvet turtle. Yes. Did you know about the Hulk winners at all in that area? Because we pretty much got attacked as soon as we came in, and it was kind of strange that you just didn't show up. Like you got us all to go there, and then decided not to go up, not to not to join us. Because you said that you had work. Gosrick looks hurt and Cross is like, I said, what did betray you? I I did have work. And then as soon as I get off, I, I ran to join you. And honestly, I thought it was just a good deal. Like it really, it really just seemed like 50% off on food and drink. Like who even does that? And that should have been the first sign. Um, that probably should have been the number one thing that gave the way. And then you all left, and I was back here, and I was like, oh, I, 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 I felt like I got real bad FOMO. You know, you all were having fun, probably. I, I Little did I know what was happening. Um, I'm really sorry that you guys had to go through that. Man. Do you know who Arnia is? I mean, she talked a lot to me. She was the one who was asking a lot about the deed and stuff. Did most of the heavy work um, in terms of the body work that happened on me. But Do you know who she's related to? Should I? I don't know. Should he? Well, um, yeah. I mean, this happened a little bit before you got here, but are you familiar with Zaraj the Hunter? Oh, like that Black guy? Network no, no, that guy we killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The that he murdered Celise's uh, wife, yeah. and so uh, Celise ran. No, I was there for that. We were in that meeting, yeah. and then it sort of happened suddenly, and then he was dead. Yeah, so uh, Arnia allegedly is his uh, his daughter. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, that's that's weird. And, and she failed to mention that to you. No. Um. It seemed. I mean, that would make a lot of sense. That would make a lot of sense in terms of why this feels so personal. Um, okay. So Did she say ask. anything to you that you think is, uh, you know, relevant? Like anything that came up that you think could benefit us? He's uh, gonna roll. Oh. It's off the table. just standing desk problems. Standing problems. <laughs> uh, Nineteen plus four for his intelligence in terms of history. So you get a twenty-three, um, and. Gazric's not knocking around and he's like he, I don't she didn't say anything directly to me but there was one time when after I kept talking to her about these um I'm trying this new currency it's this thing called uh, MFTs and I, I can tell you the whole thing about it's it's, it's not important now but <laughs> eventually I tired her out and and she left the room cuz apparently that's what everyone does when they hear about it um, and he, as she left, she complained to about some, some masked people just stringing her along something about like not even being worth it anymore. I don't know. It, it felt, it, it felt peculiar because in the room, their demeanor is different. And then the moment they left, it felt like. Like, I, I don't know. It kind of gave me courage to keep going in my my sort of annoyance tactic. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how familiar Kent is with the governance structure of Waterdeep at this point. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that would be sending up massive red flags to him or not. Um... Could I roll something, or you just tell me if I know about the Masked Lords? 
I think at this point you might know. I believe okay. Merritt mentioned that the the other people were like oh, making yeah. moves against you, that you were like sort of a threat. So I think like the confirmation of like that might be the thing that like links it. Like, how did Arnea yeah. get so much power? How did Arnea like get access to this to be able to like move in this way? Yeah, like that closes that loop. So well, so in that case, I mm. think uh, I think Ken will just bring up we we. I think there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it now. We are being targeted by at least a portion of the Waterdeep city government. Also, how is Mert as bad as he seems about keeping it a secret that he is a Basque Lord? Like, do we know he's a Basque Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I... I think the rumor mill is that he's a mass lord. Okay. Everyone thinks he's a mass lord. He denies it. He is a mass sure. lord. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, so then in that case, you know, I, I, <laughs> he was an interesting fellow, but I, I did sort of trust him. Not to be a hundred percent honest, but at least that he's not out to destroy us, which yeah. then means that the masked lords are not all on the same page and i don't know about the rest of you but I, I would really like to know how many and who the ones that are against us are because we're meeting with noble families we're yeah. walking around town doing all sorts of deals trying to get this dragon uh, scale into an egg mm -hmm. and I, I mean i know the point of the masked lords is to keep their identities secret but that feels like an important bit of information for us. Brian um, looks at you all and says, no, I I can tell you all of that. There are five masked lords. Laryl Silverhand opens as the open mask. Everyone thinks Merit is the other lord. And then there's three masked lords that no one knows of. So there's a total of five. And the way that you get onto the council is obviously your house has to be selected. There's a whole process where the other houses vote. And then everyone within that house, once it's selected secretly through an anonymous voting process, will elect a member to become that masked lord. The bylaws of Waterdeep law and governance are very clear. know this <laughs> thank yeah. you you guys yeah. leave for a long time and i had to learn the culture in order to make sure that duo wasn't doing anything illegal oh brian you can't yeah, that... cook but you are the best of us yeah this is surprising because you were you're from icewind dale i didn't think you would know this much about Waterdeep. i had to learn i also you guys were gone for a while See, okay. I knew this was going to be a good idea bringing him here. <laughs> Dahani feels completely justified. Right. Retroactive credit, like I yeah. deserve retroactive credit for that. Thank you. Right. <laughs> so then, is this related? Like, is this related to the fact that we are trying that there is a a noble family who's trying to you know, become friendly with us? Are they doing it to sabotage us and secure their own place in the Mass Lords or trying to sabotage the Mass Lord? You know, are they trying to depose a Mass Lord that they think I is she just like she becomes a, a whirlwind of feathers as she's trying to <laughs> figure this whole thing out. Gosrick like nods uh, as like seeing this is like it's I don't know. It feels heavy because it honestly also feels like, just to be real, we've always the, been the people doing the chasing. I mean, sure, we've been ambushed, right? Like, that's that happens, but mm -hmm. it always felt like we were the ones. We I haven't felt like on the back end in a little bit, and that feels weird. I think I'm going to stay in Troskel Manor for a little bit. I'm going to go over our documents. I'm going to find this title and make sure it's secure 
also because I realized I might be the only person. I will cast what spells I can to defend the manor. Um, also, that means, I'm sorry to say it, Duo, Brian, we all have to do more cleaning. No more cleaning services. It's going to have to be the three of us. That's uh, Come on, I, I, Duo, don't give me that look. I know it. you have to get in the fireplace. Oh, You're the on. only one that, come on. Come on, though, I don't want to. <laughs> it's it come on it'll be fine it's it's okay anyways um do you you guys need to get a couple more of these items for the scale or yes yeah yeah okay we have a meeting actually with the full family for the first thrumming today the what now oh <laughs> you wait wait <laughs> you guys are getting of course. I, I dreamed it. of it. Oh, no. yeah. I have yep. wished of it. I've yep. wished, but I felt like it was too much <laughs> for your palates. I was really concerned. Oh, wait, no, oh, but Mirit needs that? Ah, oh, that's a shame. Can you get yeah, two? For, uh, Can you get two cans? Probably. Just one, one for me, please. It comes in a can? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's oh. two tin. You get each one comes in a tin, Worse and they've got uh, the strooming process. The, uh, the, it's incredible. The full strooming. Uh, they have their own marinade, and they pickle the uh, small fish for a long, long time. They develop oh. their own sort of flavor and 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 sensation as they. Oh, I've been dreaming about it for a while. But uh, anyways, my mouth is watering. <laughs> but the actual uh, smell is when the moment you do. As much as you can smell it. The taste is twentyfold. It mm. is an incredible flavor and um, one to be savored. So if you guys, if you're going go there, if you happen to have a line in on a connection, I would, I would love a can. Um, you know, what? I, I'll take my. So apparently, also um, he turns to uh, Tahani and says. So this told me you came into like 15,000 oh. gold dragons. And so a portion of that is like mine, right? Allegedly. I just want to be clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, so I will use some of that oh, to pay she... for the stroming if I need oh, no. to. I'm just like, oh. oh. She narrows her eyes oh, yeah. because <laughs> Dahani absolutely intends on sharing it with everybody. Right. Just the fact that he's he hasn't been back 15 minutes. Nope. <laughs> Like, oh no! Um, so somehow there's... he sensed, even even being mm. talked to and beaten up, yeah. he was like, <gasps> "There's my hmm. hair." <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. A, I think the biggest thing is like mentioning out there. He's like, "No, no, no, no. Okay, let me earmark that. Let me make sure that's taken care of." Um, but yeah, no, he's really excited about the full stroming. Um, but he says, "Okay, but uh, you guys also have uh, need to get that. Like, you got to go to the inner the dripping dagger, right? Yeah, to get this tooth breaker mm. hook." That's that's weird. It's it's an inn. I don't know why they would sell a weapon, but uh, uh, I feel like I'm a, a little... lot of businesses in the it's in the dock ward, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it's in the traders ward. Oh right. well, I rescind that... my comment then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the dock ward. The dock ward is where we have to go to see the full family. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, that's ward, right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Also, eventually, when you get all your items, to meet back Mert at the Blue Mare Bermud in the dock ward. But yeah. Right. I've been very convinced. Did did Mert's um, list or explanation explain whether the toothbreaker hook was an actual weapon or an implement of like fishing? I've been very confused. Uh, I, I don't think or if it's that. or the size of it lands somewhere in between the two. I think he said. Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think he said. I think we just gotta go to that end, and hopefully, someone will recognize what we're talking about. Hmm. Well, before we go, we should also let you know, Gazric, that uh, there may be a contract coming mm -hmm. that, of course, you know, you should have a look at and over from the Melshimber family. Mm. Oh! So. Oh, fascinating. Uh, what? Why are they doing business with we, us? Is it... we, we simply needed to negotiate for yeah. some bottles of Melshimber wine. Wow, the, guys, you're getting good stuff while I'm gone. Wow. The idea was introduced that if, perhaps, we perhaps mm -hmm. ever decided to sell or market the rarer vintage in our basement, perhaps, perhaps. that mm. they would, of course, have the first option on 
sales and distribution. Okay. Perhaps. 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 I think I appreciate I appreciate a lot of these. Perhaps I will go over the document as it comes to make sure that that is also included. Um, if not, I will send it back to include it. This is good, guys. You've been like, look, I, I was I hurt that it took you three days to realize where I was. Yes, that is, that is a I, fair read. I, but you've been doing a lot of stuff and making a lot of good moves for you know our family here in in Trosco Manor. Uh, yeah, cool. This is good. This you know. Is super fair. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for this contract. I, you know, I've got already enough paperwork to do. And then once I'm able this evening, well, you know, honestly, I'll, I'll, no, I, I don't have, I need to sleep before I cast any spells. I'm actually going to go sleep. I'm going to go sleep and then I'm going to get to all of this stuff. Cool. Is my bed? Yeah, my bed's still where it is. I've only, I was only gone three days, right? And Brian looks at Dua and they rush up the stairs uh, oh. really fast and... Okay, I'm going to go up the stairs very slow because yeah. by the time oh. I get there, it'll be exactly no. the same. <laughs> Give his bed away. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure did for three. three days. You don't know if they gave Duo? his bed away or if they rearranged his room. Or Duo like, was what already happened? referring oh to Gazric in the past tense. He really he was. was. He was. So. <laughs> it's too, it, oh. it, he might just been looking forward to having another ghost buddy. Uh, what can we say? <laughs> you know? Just ghost problems, hashtag. Uh, right? Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. well. So you all are uh, now here, sort of in in the space. So, Salise, you never, you did not meet with Arnea. No, I got there, and they basically were like, "You're here to bail out Gosric." And uh, it was it was going to be a trick of hers, but. It was too early or too late, and I was too grumpy, and so the guards got my point rather quickly to give me Gosric. Do they get your point, or did they get your point? A little of both. <laughs> no, no. A nat 20 insight admit. goes a long way on <laughs> yeah, how right. to move a conversation, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed that she uh, <laughs> point. threw such... It's good. Mm. Through such, mm, through such a lackluster ruse, your way. Based on what she sent, it seemed like she had more waiting for you. She, it seems so. Wait a minute. What if something's on Kazrik? Oh. Or the hat. Did I see during my fly around, Masood? Mm -hmm. Uh, as they were coming back, did I see anybody like trailing them or? Give me a perception check. I'd love to. 18. 18. Ooh, okay. On an 18, I'm going to say not on your first pass, not on your second pass. What you saw maybe around like 8 a.m. after you made like your third as you're sort of like circling, you noticed um, what you thought were some like gargoyles sitting on a corner to be still when in fact had shifted a few inches i think it's clear that they weren't they're not looking at Celise and gosrick but they are keeping an eye on troll school manor through these sort of postings about like a block maybe like half a block sort of keeping an eye on the road that leads in and out hmm. i would like to bring this up right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, um, I think so. Well, uh, I'll say the excitement of seeing Celise and Gazric coming back, Celise coming back with Gazric specifically, mm -hmm. may have thrown it from her mind for a second. But did you all know that I, I saw when I was doing my fly around? about 8 a.m. this morning when I saw you and Gosric coming back, Celise. There are gargoyles on the block that I don't think have been there before. What? Yeah, as I was coming down to to see you guys, to see y'all, there were these gargoyles, these, you know, statues or whatever that not only I don't think they were there before, but they moved. Hmm. Hmm. Shaka. I mean, I think before we head to 
either uh, either one of these places to get you know either the fall or the or the um, or the, or the tooth breaker. I should look at my notes, or or the uh, tooth, tooth breaker hook. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I love how you how you <laughs> were doing like a like a hook thing. It's uh, like the was it the li- so, in yeah. liar liar the oh yes who tries to oh, do yeah. the hook and it's the, <laughs> yeah I. Uh-huh. I I want to go outside and um, uh, how far away are these gargoyles, would you say, Masood? Now that Tahani has posted them out, you see them. There's one that's like half a block down and there's one that's another block, like a full block away from where Troll Skull Manor, the road that like kind of cuts off and leads to the Troll Skull estate. Um, Okay, so... All right. Um, Would you say they're within 120 feet? I think the first one definitely is the the one that's like well actually I don't know I feel like half a block is a lot more than 120 feet. It, it, it yeah on yeah I'm not sure if there's like a small block. A small block. Tall block I think but, you could definitely yeah. walk up and still be within range of it if you want to move within 120 feet of it down the block. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely do I, that. I mean, this is all still like the rival's property in terms of yeah. the stretch that's leading up. Yeah. Yeah, so so I tell the like a party like, look, I'm gonna go outside, inspect this, and if I notice these things are moving, um, I'm gonna hit them with a with an eldritch blast. Uh, I think we need to. We've been through a lot already, and I don't feel like we should be going up and trying to talk and say, hey, like what's going on or whatever. We should just uh, action yes. attack. Mm-hmm. So. Um, yeah, so I'm basically gonna Ooh. go outside and I'm gonna wait to see. I'm gonna wait to see if I can notice any motion. So can I roll a, uh, I guess an investigation or a perception or something? You can make. Uh, I I'd say either to... with advantage for sure, especially after given what Latia uh, as Tahani has gathered uh, for either of the characters, like so for either of the gargoyles. You know their position. You know where they are. Definitely go ahead and make that roll with advantage. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, got a. Oh wait, that. Yeah, it's twelve. Twelve. Twelve is uh, enough to know exactly. You well, I think it's like you don't like. You can't see it from far away, but as you get closer, it's easier to notice that these things really were trying to blend in with the other sort of lights and this lamp posts that were on there leading into this space. The I'm one that's a block the the, yeah, the one yeah, the one that's only a block away is like sitting on a lamp post that like clearly like you for whatever reason you, no one ever looks up. No one ever looks up and like you guys just hadn't noticed it's there. Yeah, so you want to give it a roll just a an Elder blast at it. Yeah, uh do I get to the does this count as like a I guess it wouldn't really be a sneak attack but it's kind of in their face it's kind of in their face <laughs> yeah. it has, yeah. I mean you haven't I would say you coming. roll roll the attack because I don't think it expects you to attack but it's not going to surprise it that you do because we'll see you do it but then we'll handle initiative afterwards yeah mm-hmm. uh, oh I actually forgot so, since I leveled up I have 300 feet on my oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go, go take a pot shot from the door dude <laughs> <laughs> so like can i yeah can i reach both of them i'd say you can definitely try you can definitely if you get close enough to you can hit both all right i'll mm-hmm. just roll so i'll roll two hits two yeah. attack rolls then mm-hmm. don't you get more than that at that level with eldritch blast uh, you get, what you're 15 now do you have three? Oh yeah yeah but there's only two people right uh there's yeah only two gargoyles so you, if you want to do like two one and one the other, if you want to like oh, yeah, yeah, sure. someone, yeah. yeah, why not? Go for it. Uh, that was not great. Um, yeah, so 11, 12, and 24 in attack okay. rolls. Let me see. Double check their AC real fast. And so what, uh, give me those numbers again. 11 12 and 24. okay so one of them hits uh, which one uh did you send uh, 
which one hits the, closer the first one got, the closer one is like you're able to get i think you try to take you take one you shoot at it it misses you launch another one it hits roll damage for me yeah uh nine nine you watch as it you hit and you blast off a literal chunk of its shoulder and it before was immobile screams and begins to take off in flight running fast away from the uh the manor the other one okay yeah the other one's seeing its uh buddy get hit begins to fly up and move away as well um you could chase after them if you want, but they do have a fly speed of yeah, 60 feet. Yeah. If they're flying, uh, I don't think I can catch up with them. Uh, mm-hmm. I will uh, I will call to Dahani, because I'm assuming I'm not that far away, and say, hey, Dahani, if you, if you can chase them, they've kind of flown away, and I can't catch up with them, but we got to see what's going on with these gargoyles. Uh, yeah. Which one and which direction? Are they both going in the same direction? They are flying in the same direction. They don't see anyone falling yet, but they are hoofing it. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's up to you, Dahani, if, if you want to do that or not. Well, away I go. As you <laughs> hop into the air and begin to beat your wings as fast as you can, you follow these, um, uh, gargoyles and um, what's your fly speed just so i know uh 75 oh so it's not it's not hard for you you can keep pace do you want to i'm gonna give you an option here do you want to overtake them do you want to follow them uh because there'll be different sort of checks accordingly how big are they they are medium sized they're not like incredibly large uh the thing is now that you look at them you can really see them for what they are they're um skin is like darkens when it turns to stone it becomes gray but here you look as this one's like holding its one shoulder its wings behind it flapping around it hard it looks um somewhat like if a goblin was given wings as it scrawls forward with horns on its head pulling itself out nasty teeth moving forward as it flaps as hard as it can and its buddy um further had not even looking back just trying to uh book it um but you're yeah so that's what that's what you see when they're ma- looking at them um so i could can i tell that one of them is injured yeah for sure you can tell the one that um chaka hit um because it is missing a part of itself okay mm-hmm. um that one i would like to attack heck yeah as you pull in close and close distance on it not, uh, not, not even i'd like to use my bow oh heck yeah uh go for it take a shot sure um so yeah you watch like she doesn't even yeah. like the she doesn't even like break mm-hmm. break the stride of, of her flight she just like pulls a bow and nice. fires mm-hmm. uh first shot is a 20 that'll hit okay Ooh, geez. second shot Ooh, listen to that roll. <laughs> yes, Chris. What, what, that shot is a natural yeah. 20. Ooh, oh, my God. baby. Right. I love it. I love it. Roll okay. damage for me on both of those. All right. So uh, I have never in my life <laughs> used any of my Kensei abilities. <laughs> so I'm going to do that right yes. now. Heck yeah. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna spend as a bon as a bonus action. I would have I would have spent three key points mm-hmm. to give myself pl- by basically turning my weapon into a plus three. Nice, oh, um, nice. So, uh, does that this is important here? Mm-hmm. Does it make your weapon do magical attacks, or is it still non magical attacks? So my attacks do count as magic, but the weapon itself is not. Okay, but the attacks count as magic. That's key. Yes. Okay, go for it. Roll damage. Okay. Um, all right, so mm-hmm. that's the crit. So if you add plus three to that, that's 14. Nice. And then the second attack is 13. So that's 27 damage. From 27 two and oh. had already been hit for nine earlier. This guy is looking really messed up as he falters and you clear two. As you watch these, um, you do more than half of its hit points in a single attack. So I'm going to say that cleans off a wing. 
you're able to hit it at its joint in the right enough point. And you, it's a good thing you made it um, a magical attack because I don't know if you know this, but gargles are resistance to pretty much all damage except for magical, oh. which is why it was good. Chaka went out there and like you were able to, you burned a little key for it. Super necessary. You watch it um, begin to, mm. as the uh, wings snap off, uh, one of the wings snap off, it begins to uh, spiral as mm-hmm. it no longer can control itself and lands on the ground. You all are, how many feet up are you all, uh, Tani? Uh, how how far up did they fly? I would say they probably, well, maybe like, I guess it's probably like 50 feet up. So that's, how many die are that? My GMs who know this Four, off the top three, of that. No, it's 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 one after the first ten feet. So it's oh, so one yeah. after the first ten feet. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after the first ten. Four D six. Four six. Six is D six. Yeah. That ball damage. We hardly ever get to see any of that. I, well, certainly not Ex- with you. Mom. An additional nine. This this gargoyle is losing limbs as it crunches onto the ground, losing <laughs> another wing as it looks just like a goblin with horns now trying to scramble and make its way forward um it's going to use this entire turn to try to run uh, away you watch its other friend just book it um (laughs) yeah friend its scout is gone um but yeah oh do you yeah so its entire turn is going to keep trying to move away from you it's not that fast so you're definitely going to be able to keep pace with it if you want what would you like to do on your turn my Second, my, so I have two questions. My first question yeah. is, were we far enough away that like Shaka could see that? So like if Shaka saw it fall, I would have yelled, like free action yelled to be like, grab that one while I go get the other one. Oh, Shaka, did you stay outside while this was happening? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I, absolutely. I was, I was definitely watching. I don't know how far they went. Yeah. But I was definitely watching to see what I could see. Perfect. We've, it- we're, we're at least 60 feet away because they have a 60 foot fly speed. Perfect. Oh, I could. Uh, yeah, I think I should be able to hear if you. Well, I guess that's up to proceed. No, I definitely think for that's sixty it. feet, you if you shout in in a way, and if I imagine there are spies on your land, right? Like you attacked one, it ran. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine you'd stay vigilant enough to stay outside and sort of try to keep pace the best you could with yeah. uh, Tahani. And hearing that, I'd say definitely. Well, Shaka re-enters the fight. Um, so, uh, uh, you do you want to move forward and sort of explore that one while uh, Tani yes. moves that way? Awesome. Um, then Tani, you keep booking it while Shaka closes in on this fallen gargoyle, who now has uh, let's see, thirty six. I wasn't quite done with my turn though. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, okay. monks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Monks, I forget. Right. Monks. So many turns. Well, actually, actually, I was done with my turn because I used my bonus action to uh, sharpen oh. sharpen my arrow. So I okay. cannot. Ooh. I will close okay. with the other flying gargoyle, but I cannot attack it. That so that's your movement. You already did both of your attacks. Bonus action, awesome. Shaka uh, goes in as you're moving closer to this gargoyle. It is looking very messed up as you watch it scramble back as it can l- realizes it's just you and it and begins to snarl, um, realizing it might have to fight its way out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Is it, so it's on the ground. Does it look like mobile? Or is it kind of? You see, it's struggling to be used to the, its weight without its wings on its back, because they're heavy. They're made of stone when they like need to like settle. Uh, But at its current uh, position, it is, trying to get its like sort of bearings on it's only using its two feet okay great uh so if it's trying to get its bearings um Mm -hmm. i would like to uh uh cast uh thaumaturgy uh to make my voice sound real awesome Uh uh-huh and and uh real loud and real mean yeah and like i just want to say who is the master yes and like, uh, and, and like have it kind of echo yeah have it kind of echo and boom yes. mm-hmm. around uh and i want to do this while i'm like fairly close to it like not like mm-hmm. not not like attack of opportunity close but like mm-hmm. just in that range like you know like seven feet away eight <laughs> feet away heck yeah um roll an intimidation check with advantage um as you cast this thought maturgy and um 
we see Kent sort of come out. You hear Shaka cast this as you pull up closer to the small, very small crater that was made. 40 feet wasn't much to do a lot, but it's a, it, it's a heavy gargoyle. So mass times acceleration equals force. Yeah. High school physics. Oh, um, science. Yeah. Wow. Science. Dang, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. One second law, y'all. Yeah. The best law of them all. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I got dirty 20. Nice. Ooh. Um, and you see uh, it shrieks and it cowers. And in this moment, you realize this gargoyle doesn't seem to be... This is a construct. This isn't a natural gargoyle as other ones. Do you look at it? It seems it's stone nature. Most gargoyles are oh. chameleon in their design, where they turn into stone and develop a fake experience, appearance if they stand still long enough. This one is made of stone. It's almost as if someone made a golem in the shape of a gargoyle. Um, and in it, as it's looking at you, it screeches but realizes that's the only way it can communicate it doesn't have another process so whatever well make an insight check mm -hmm. and uh, i think uh, kent you're you're there now as well so feel free to do that oh, okay great yeah five five uh well mine will roll eventually uh 24 24 I, yeah i think kent you you watch this and uh perhaps I don't know. Something about this feels like this is a statue that someone imbued with some sort of magical artifact mm -hmm. or something. This has got archaeological magic like written all over <laughs> it. Like someone did oh, some sure. old magic to make this construct oh, what so it was. Magic. Like something mm. really that isn't quite common right. now. Um, and like, as you're watching it, you, I think you start to realize placing together based on some of the other digs that you've been on and some of the other old works. Like there's a reason now people don't uh, like, there are different ways that constructs are created or the idea of making a construct. Uh, you have Warforged, you have all these sort of other sort of things. This is clearly just a, yeah, just, just meant to serve a singular purpose it's yeah. consciousness is solely bound by that though the intimidation now that uh like shaka rolled clearly has sort of jarred that it doesn't know what to do other than kind of sit here yeah i mean the thing is all that does is keep me from doing what i was gonna do but like shaka's on a roll i don't really want to interfere fear but i also want to make sure that it doesn't get away because it could maybe still be useful so uh i think uh I think I'll just sort of call out to Shaka very sort of casually and just say, um, I think it'll be about as much use in pieces as it is whole for what it's worth. Just from like around the corner. I don't know if you knew I was there or not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, Whoa. You like shout still at the lo like the loud volume. Oh, <laughs> the thumb dirty volume. <laughs> what are you doing there? Um, uh, yeah. So um, so I say like, well, like you don't, so you don't think it has any intelligence? Like we can't get any information out of it. I don't even think I could pull a soul trinket from it to question it later. I think it is animated stone. Oh God. Um. Can I? Oh, this might be a bit of a long shot, but uh, can I see if there's anything distinctive about the stone? Like maybe it can. Mm -hmm. Is it any kind of unique stone, or is it just random rocks? Like, can I see if maybe that can give us a clue as to where it could be from, or what region it could be? Absolutely. From. Give me a uh, investigation roll with advantage, knowing that. All right, go 24. Yeah, that's it. Nice. As you look at this intricate stone and the stonework here, you realize that whoever did this, as uh, Kent is talking about, this is old. And this is, like some of the other things, powerful. Though this creature might not be, its creation indicates as such. Mm -hmm. um, and as you're looking at the stonework, you don't really notice anything about the work itself, but you do start to see some intricate etchings 
in it. The rune work that was inscribed onto it to make it what it was is, like I said, in ancient Elven, like really, really old. So if you were to bet if someone was to do it, either they have access to like this inspiration for recently came into it, or they uh, perhaps most likely are a family that can trace their roots back to almost the ori- uh, the origin of Waterdeep. Wow. I'm really mad you guys spotted my gargoyles. Uh, <laughs> that's okay though. It is, it's, it's fine. It's cool. <sighs> Uh, if it helps, I, I do not think this is the case, but I think Kent would, seeing that old, old, powerful magic, I think the mm-hmm. first person Kent would suspect, and I, I don't think he'd say this to Shaka until we were back at the manor, but I, the first person that Kent would suspect is Laryl Silverhand. Mm. Ooh, so good spies, not bad spies. We think. Oh, well, we hope. <laughs> Yeah. Is there such uh, a thing as a good spy on, when it's on us? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think, uh, yeah. That mm-hmm. begs a good question. Actually, I might be, uh, uh, Sharif, please finish your thought before I, I was going to do a cool transition. But yes, I do want to, I don't want to no. cut you off. Wow. Yeah. wow. I'm so sorry. I really don't want to cut you off. I really don't want to cut you off. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, no, 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 please. I, uh, your uh, cool uh, transition. I was going to say, I think that's a good, but this that's like a really cool good transition to your cool transition. <laughs> but like thinking about where, what family could do this, where it was, I think it's a great place to cut over to Dahani. Right. who is in pursuit of the other gargoyle right. um, as they're making their way across. Uh, do you notice the movements of uh, like where you're going in terms of. I would, I would like to make a, a roll of sorts to see if I do notice a, the certain direction that we may be flying in. Absolutely. Uh, what, what was perception? I suppose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's a natural, that's another natural 20. What? Wow. Wow. Okay, very very well done. done. Heck yeah. As uh, you're making your way through, you cut across the trade route. You are making your way to the high road, the coastal trade route to the north um, that kind of spreads alongside the uh, northern part of the city. This guy, um, you're imagine you're letting him go a little bit now like that they've sort of grabbed one you're able to sort of see that this one is pushing further and further um, out and is making their way towards the sea ward you know that this is where the hawk winners um, sort of position is but as you watch it move you see it not heading towards the position that um what's it called uh the where the hawk where gosser came from as Selyse informed you but rather a temple with a beautiful moon symbol on it of a crescent as it sits um one of the largest ones in the city as it, this gargoyle flies into an opening at the top and descends inside. Okay. Um, have I seen this temple before? Um, give me a history check. Cool. No, I'm too busy flying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't know it. Uh, you have no idea what this place is. Um, it's just it's really pretty it's really nice yeah um but with that i think it might be a good point to cut back to kent and uh shaka as they're trying to decide what i I imagine are you guys trying to decide what to do with uh the gargoyle that's there yeah i mean i mean i tell kent i say well i mean you seem like you're kind of familiar with this can we like can we basically destroy this thing and still keep the, still get a sense of the um, elven magic around it, or do we need to keep it like? It sounds and and Masood, correct me if I'm wrong about this, or yeah. if Kent would know he was wrong about this, but it it sounds like there are engravings and etchings and inscriptions on it that we mm-hmm. could use as reference. So I don't think we need it to be. Uh, 
animate in order yeah. to be able to study it fully. I think looking at this and perhaps knowing a little bit more of the runes, it might you g give an arcana check. Either of you could sure. sort of do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll say, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You you both uh, can do it with advantage if you want as well, given the nature of like how much you've already gleaned. Like it's you've basically kind of like okay. forced it to be sitting there. Um, Thank you for that what advantage. were you saying, uh, Tanya? I was gonna ask if it counted as undead, but probably not. I uh, it look it's a construct. I think it would be more okay. or less like yeah. it's claim. Okay. Um, but yeah. Oh well. Um, I got a non natural like twenty. Like undead. Oh, <laughs> oh that's yes. Really, yeah. uh, what'd you get? I got a non-natural 20. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And then Chaka? Oh, I did not even roll. Sorry. I was <laughs> or nor did I. What are we rolling? I was I was looking at oh, something. Oh, I just <laughs> assumed that Virgil and Celise were just like wondering like, Oh yeah. Are we, this, are we, are we go after them? Yeah, what is going on with Virgil Sleeves? I'm so sorry, but I was like wondering like <laughs> we yeah, what, what's happening like, inside. Leaning yeah. out the door, flying out the door, ducking out the door. I'm like, um, and Salise is here like, I got Witch Bolt, what's good? <laughs> uh, what a great sentence. Mm. <laughs> uh. what, but I, I do value this question. Uh, what does it look like um, as... Well, let's resolve this. I think they can come back and we can see what Virgil and Salise have been doing while the other three have been handling your intruder situation. Um, uh, Kent and uh, Shaka, you realize that, yeah, the way that they would have had to, especially with the not natural 20, mm -hmm. um, with the screens and uh, with the runes and the inlay, you'd probably need to do a little more research on it. But yeah, 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 the way you, you know, how, uh, what's that ability that you have that where you kill something you can pocket their soul? Uh, tokens of the dep I'm making up words, hold on. Um, yeah, oh, I was right. Tokens of the departed. No, tokens of the departed. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Departed. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, you look at this and it. realize that this is something of a similar nature, but instead oh. of they would simply unanimate this thing, and mm -hmm. upon its unanimation, it's senses what it saw. That information would be coalesced oh. into something. You'd have to maybe spend more time with the actual runes to discover how you'd be able to gather which might be useful to try to understand what it's previously seen. So I, I so I th yeah, yeah, I think we can, I think we can, I mean, it's pretty incapacitated now. So I think we can carefully sort of incapacitate it fully and take back, you know, yeah. The Off majority screen, of <laughs> we hear some thunks and chunks as we watch, uh, then Kent <laughs> and, uh, uh, Shaka walk back into Waterdeep, carrying the parts of this gargoyle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Speaking of which, what is going on on the? I imagine uh, Tahani at this point is flying back, so you will walk into the scene um, in a moment. It'll take a little bit because it's a bit of a flight. They made you this gargoyle made you go. Once again, a five-hour walk is still probably like a one-hour flight. I don't know how how it I'll equates. Dash. Yeah, you'll dash. You'll dash a lot. Um, <laughs> so fast. So fast. Uh, but what's going on with uh, uh, for Virgil and Celise inside the house as um, they come in with these pieces? Uh, I just look at Virgil and I look at these pieces and I'm like, um, why why are you bringing things in the house? You want to research those? Those are not going in our room. Uh, can I detect uh, cast or cast detect good and evil on the pieces? Or yeah, absolutely. Matter? Yeah, for sure. I don't think it does anything. I just know if something's good or evil. You, just, uh, you know the origin of the type of magic, whether <laughs> if it's like celestial or infernal. Oh, right. That'd be kind of the the source on this. Yeah, I'm just trying to see like if I have to actually roll anything because I mm -hmm. rarely use it. Um, just basically divine sense. Yeah, absolutely. If, if something is um, celestial fiend undead within 60 feet, I can use the feature three times a day or three times per long rest. Mm -hmm. um, so do I sense anything good or evil from this thing? You sense a divineness in the magic, mm -hmm. a sense of like the ability to construct something with enough cognizant to capture what it's gaining that you could then digest later like to basically create a living recording machine is you have to create that there is something 
innately divine about this magic that is present here, um, whose origins might not come from, let's say, a divine source, the person who cast it, but what they're channeling, what they're using is divine in its nature. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I look at the pieces and I look at, at Virgil and the others. That's whoever sent that, it wasn't evil. Those have divinity about them. And I look at uh, Shaka, actually. I'm like, you know, your celestial warlock, couldn't you tell it was divine? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we're or did you just, Or did you just shoot it first? I just shot it first. Um, <laughs> first spying floor. on us, look. Um, we're a bit on edge. Um, and we just got Godric back, and I just... I just don't feel like taking chances with this kind of stuff um, at this moment. Um, I don't know. After, uh, like, I know Dahani went to chase the other one, so when she gets back, maybe she has some more information about, you know, about what this is. What a perfect time for Dahani to come through the door. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, literally uh, bursting through it because she forgot to slow down. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So when she untangles herself from the pile of feathers and and everything that she has skidded into, like probably like three stools and knocked everything over. Oh no! Uh, oh, uh, the other one. I didn't. I didn't kill the other one. I just followed it. It seemed like a better idea to follow it. It went into a temple, a big temple in the Sea Ward with a big old moon on it. Wait, uh, Brian turns and says. Did it have a really, really tall tower? Yeah. Oh, that's the house of the moon. <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait. Yes, Thank Kent. You. Brian. Br- Brian, are, are you just saying that because she described it as a tower with a moon? Or is it No, a- <laughs> well, if it's a tower with the moon, it has the largest tower in all of Waterdeep. It is the tallest structure. It you as you get closer to the sea ward you can see it um cool. that is the house of the moon is a temple of say mm-hmm. and it's one of the largest temples if not the large it's definitely tallest i don't know if it's the largest but who does who does anyone live in the tower Brian? Well, the, the devotees and the patrons of the temple some of the Perhaps maybe the higher order. I, I don't know. All I know is what buildings <laughs> are and their purpose. So, <laughs> just hold on, you, hold on. You just hold made on. a wiki article. <laughs> just say, I'm brief. I'm brief that. Brian serves as a weird, weird conduit oh. for that. Surprise, the robot character does that, you know? Um, question. <laughs> yeah. So, Brian, this yeah. temple, who does the temple serve? Who is it dedicated to? It's a temple of Saloon. The Goddess of, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he just tells you, Selun, the goddess of the moon, you know, the lady of silver, the moon waiting, and the moon maiden, the night white lady, and I think as he's talking about it, you know a little bit more. Um, basically, covers the evening of the moon stars, navigation navigators, wanderers, questers, seekers, and non-evil lycanthropes um, is kind of her purview and domain. Um, and is, yeah, a goddess of the moon. That's what the house of the moon is dedicated to, um, is Selun in particular. For what it's worth, and I am not the magic one here, but it wasn't just any devotee of Selun that created this, Kent says, pointing to the pieces. Uh, it, I mean, the magic is so old and so powerful that I I think we should assume we need to start at the top in looking for who did this. I mean, I don't know who the current priest, high priestess of Selun is here in the city, but it's, it's from my research in similar effects, it's that level of powerful. Mm. Well, do what we else? pay them a... Do we do we pay them a visit first, or do we go yeah. to full first? Yeah, that's 
Yeah, like we got to get these items. So this will be another thing on our. Like it's got to be all connected, though, right? So that's exactly my thought. How much do we trust Mert? Because if we trust Mert, then my vote would be to get the items and get back to Mert to ask some serious questions that need answering. But if we're not sure about where Mert's loyalty lies, then maybe we need to do our own investigations first. I think it's possible that someone else is looking for these things as well and are trying to drive us oh. off the path. These things weren't evil, as far as we can tell. I, I would also say to describe the magic in terms of evil, evil, good are, these are moral subjective things more so. in the terms of, I would say like you could have divine powers and do evil things and you could have infernal powers and do good things. Sure. Uh, but in this space, the there is divinity in its magic, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to Virgil's point, for what it's worth, Saloon is generally not uh, not into, you know, um, evil acts. Let's say not so much about describing the person, but mm -hmm. you know, Saloon is a is a goddess of of general goodness. So I I'm picking up what you're putting down, Viv. Mm -hmm. So general goodness that spies that spies on people. Well, fair. The, the, what I'm thinking is, I, yes, the spying the surveillance, but to what end? Right, is it Watching on over or watching? Yeah, is it that? <laughs> yeah. We don't know, I guess. <laughs> and maybe I was a little too quick, but like I'm kind of on edge, y'all. I'm, no, I'm I on edge. with you. And, and did, they, did, they, did they choose to retaliate or merely run? Yes, what did they do, Shaka? <laughs> they ran they well i don't know if they ran or they like saw the finesse that i you know okay they ran you know why were they frightened did a did a hook yeah. shot with that with that <laughs> ass blast and it sort of came in you know yeah it's like the 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 uh, finesse of me yeah. missing with two of them <laughs> yeah you know that finesse <laughs> those are just those are just the fireworks before like that main blast so it was just like yeah. pew, pew, pow. <laughs> yeah yeah so, yeah I, I mean i might have been too hasty so they um, did not so they did, they not, did not attack, attack. Us. then which means whoever sent these things from the temple probably are going to come looking for us i would wonder i mean they've been discovered but if they were merely watching and not attacking i would be wary of them trying to send other means of watching but mm. it seems that if they're not attacking us we should probably stick to trying to get the last items from for this mert you mentioned yeah let's just be aware like mm -hmm. we we know now that someone is keeping an eye on us for good or ill we don't yet know but now that we know we can be on the lookout for other things like that as we move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe not shoot <laughs> things until we get a chance to see what they are. Yeah. Shaka notices everybody looking at him at this <laughs> uh, so For what that, it's worth, Kent is not and... <laughs> looking at you poorly. He was like, I'd have done it. <laughs> and, and and you were just, out the door uh, right away, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like Shaka just kind of, mm -hmm. you know, he just kind of says, "Okay, mm -hmm. got it." Look, Salise ain't forgot that narc business. So. <laughs> you know how fast? Yeah, yo, yo Gotcha got in the so house two level. seconds, two seconds before two Shaka, Shaka seconds. asked him, "Did you did you set him up?" Right, right. He is on edge. I, I was blasting, not narking. I was <laughs> all I'm saying, all I'm saying is, out of out of character, like Gosrick was like, "Yeah, let's all go to dinner." And then and then Salise picks up Gosrick, and Gosrick is like, "Good thing I didn't bring my wallet." And I'm like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm mm. telling you. Mm. 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 Turns out he was the doppelganger this whole time. No! Guys, sorry, don't want to spoil the end of the season. No, no, I'm kidding. Um, but I've as you guys are all the Coopers, oh, all the Coopers, as you guys are um, sitting <laughs> oh, here, the Goss Cooper, um, holding on to these uh, 
bits and parts of this gargoyle. Um, I think it leaves you with a lot of understanding that there are forces at work in whatever capacity there are things that are moving that involve the rivals and so it begs the question do you choose yourself to involve them or do you let them do you just want to be ready for whenever they choose to engage with you right i I think it's too much and the more we see the more powerful we realize that the people sort of pulling the strings must be Look, we are all very capable, but I think we need some more information from what we can trust, which at this point, I'm with Dahani, is is getting this stuff to Mert. I... The, the only person who has actually reached out at us, reached out to us about anything. So, I mean, we definitely have a... If the House of the Moon is a generally good-aligned temple, we have a lead that we can follow there, mm-hmm. but we don't know exactly what's going on there so i agree that we should follow the lead that we have the one that's actually reached out to us as you think about that i think it's that you all um sort of draw your eyes to the note as it's on the table that merit left you and the checklist of sorts that you all have made a line crossing through the melshamba rhine a reminder that you have a meeting later today with uh phil mule from the full family and the address of the uh, dripping dagger in where the toothbreaker hook awaits one of your or more of you um to pick it up and I think that's a good place for us to end this episode. Um, so we've got a little bit of time uh, before we go out, and I've been really bad about it for the last couple of weeks. But if you've got any questions for us, please put them in the chat. Um, we're going to try. I, I want to be a little bit better about giving time for folks. Uh, if they got any questions, we'll try to answer them. We're going to answer them in character. We've got um, not only ourselves, but also as our uh, for the folks uh, PCs, but also any NPCs that you might have encountered. If you have any questions, um, for them, feel free to ask away. Boy, are we gonna do <laughs> outros while we wait on the questions? Like, um, the you know, let's uh, let's get. Well, why do we start outros at uh, at fifty five? They give it a time okay. for oh, look, questions to go in. Uh, yeah. There's question. One. Uh, yeah. Why doesn't Duo like cleaning fireplaces? Because <laughs> you know they they always they say I'm the only one that can fit in them, and so it just feel it feels like a little bit of a typecast. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> What a good answer. I can't. Yeah. I can't. What a great answer. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. Uh, I love it. Uh, uh, question. Oh. Can question yeah, there's a question for Brian, the brain. Mm-hmm. Uh, how on earth did you find all that information? Honestly, it's crazy the amount of public information available at the library. It is wild how much information is available at the library and brian looks at you all and says you know it's a process but i had a lot of time and i've been working on it and trying to gain as much information as i can to be of assistance here based on how busy we know duo is at troll skull when we're away it is safe it's safe to assume that brian has a lot of free time (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i love it oh for zaraj Whoa. Did you know you, you had a daughter? And are you proud of her? Oh, That's a question. Oh, <laughs> this is tough. This is tough. Um, your your Ouija board squirrel yeah. past <laughs> looking <laughs> for a response. I don't have a voice. Just... <laughs> uh, I think I think wow. what you you hear from the void uh, is Ouija. yes and yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, mm-hmm question for the group uh uh-huh would any of us keep a pet now (laughs) maybe like a gargoyle (laughs) the question says we see through you (laughs) (laughs) that's a lot of responsibility and it's very difficult to keep care of them while you're always on the boat Mm -hmm. that's not a very nice way to talk about me (laughs) <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Just saying, wow. right here. Good. It's very good. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna lie, if this was an actual gargoyle and not like a stone thing, yeah. I'd probably try to charm it. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Mandy. Convince it to live on top of Troll Skull and the turret. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Y'all are are literally about to turn every construct, every everything you see, Mm -hmm. to be like half security, 
half like, oh, coming of age story for right. rivals. I see you. <laughs> what, is, what, is the, what is the gargoyle's nickname? Are you going to nickname it Bronx because it's a pet? Or is it going to be because it flies? Are you going to call it? like Goliath or Brooklyn or one of the other ones. No, no, it has to be LaGuardia. It has yeah. to be LaGuardia. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's, that's real good. That's excellent. Oh, uh, heck yeah. <laughs> and I, I think we're gonna, I think, I don't see any other questions popping up in chat that we're, oh, Ooh. question for Gosrick. Any early investors <laughs> no. in NFTs? Oh, Oh you know, it's God. crazy. It's it's hey. hard. I've got the unique. Hey. Uh, it's you, I wild. swear to goodness. It's <laughs> wild. Thank you. I'm 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 so embarrassed. Honestly, thank you. It is wild how uh you know no one's on board yet. No one hasn't gotten in. It's what? a it's a system that requires a bit of explanation <laughs> and a bit of work in order to get it off the ground. Not gonna lie, I'm willing yeah. to bet the Langolans would be all over this. They NFT. would. They, they, they would be like, they would be like, yeah. yeah, we've heard literally three seconds. Here's money. Here's money. <laughs> yes. Although, although MFTs, like MFTs, I feel like would probably be a little bit better for the environment than NFTs. I would like to see what happens with that. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. For, for for a family like the, like the Langolans, this new money family trying to get in they might be willing to take a risk on i mean it's like new money on new money so yeah yeah uh when with that i think oh question for gosrick this i think will be our last one before we do uh initiative oh god you secretly put cheese in those spider egg omelets or what was it oh good question we'll plug our chef never tells (laughs) i don't want to know i don't want to know that's literally Mm -hmm. not true nor is it never true you have to tell (laughs) (laughs) uh with that let's do our outros we're gonna go in reverse order for our intros so kicking it off we have latia it's me uh hi everybody i'm me the the me uh, you can find me across the internet at Latia mm-hmm. Jaquise in all the places I am, except for where I'm not. Um, I uh, am streaming, um, doing that whole thing, Wednesdays and Fridays, no, Wednesdays and Saturdays at uh, from 8 p.m. to midnight central. Uh, I've got Tompo on Fridays at twitch.tv slash rockpunchatl at uh, 6 p.m. central, followed by a wind down stream after that at 10. Um, I will be doing some other fun stuff in the future, uh, which I will announce when it is being announced. And other than that, you can check me out here or follow me on Twitter and uh, listen to me talk about crab plushies or (laughs) things like that. That's just what I do. Yeah. Moving right along, we have you, Henio. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Okenyu. You can follow me on Twitter and here on Twitch at DM Jazz Hands. Uh, What have I got coming up this week? Tomorrow night uh, is our, I want to say, penultimate but that might not be true uh we're getting close to the end of courts of the shadow fey over on the cobalt press channel uh we've only i think it's towards the end but we've only just now actually made it to the courts so that tells you a lot about how it's going uh but that's a a super fun time it's seven eastern four pacific on the cobalt press channel uh i stream tuesdays and thursdays uh we do mass effect uh in the afternoons over on my channel twitch.tv slash dm jazzy hands uh, we are on hiatus this week for Into the Motherlands on Wednesday, so everybody, uh, you know, go catch up on the season. If you have missed any of it, uh, check out the Kickstarter uh, and do all of that, and we'll be back with you next week uh, for the penultimate episode of that season. And I think that's it for this week. That's where you can find me. Nice. Oof. Sometimes it really takes, like, okay, one day what am I doing? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Absolutely. month especially, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can only imagine uh, what your schedules look like. And I'm glad that you get a chance to talk about it. Yeah. Brian, tell us about what you got going on this week. Well, hey, um, I'm Brian, or Bohemian pretty much everywhere. Uh, this week is not too rough. Um, I'll be doing some uh, baking in the kitchen on Tuesday. Oh. On Saturday, we'll be playing some games. And then Saturday afternoon, I'm going to be in a bake-off uh, with other uh, with other creators on Donut Tarts channel, D O N A T A R T E on Twitch, and um, then next Sunday, as usual, more Animal Crossing, and then back here with the rivals. So it is a light ish week. Um, there's other stuff coming up later in the month, so follow me on the socials and find out. Heck yeah! And then let's hear about Sharif. What's going on, dude? Hey y'all, I'm Sharif. Uh, you can follow me at SharifJackson.com. S H A R E E F jackson.com or free jackson on all social networks um tuesday i'll be doing our video game stream had a great time with spirit fair last week finally unlocking 
a way to crash through a bunch of rocks nice. and get to an entire southern portion of the map that I've not been able to get to. So now I can finally uh, access a lot of things on the guy that I, that have been looming because I couldn't mm -hmm. get to that area. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, uh, still no forum announcement on kids on bikes, but uh, expect to hear that coming up soon. Um, I did see some pretty fancy looking art that hopefully we'll be able to unveil Whoa. soon as well. Oh, um, very cool. Yeah, so, so yeah, we, we are uh, super excited about that. Um, and aside from that, I'll just be here hanging out with these wonderful folks. Nice. And then the last of our players for this season is here from Tanya. Hello. My schedule's up a little weird this week because uh, clearly I'm not at home. Uh, but for those that saw, I am at the Tribeca Film Festival for two yeah. reasons. Um, one, I'm on the game jury with people like Elijah Wood and Reggie Philami, which is interesting. Uh, and why so is, we actually why is Elijah Wood there. That's honestly the one I'm. I found for. out. Uh, okay. Fun fact: Elijah Wood actually has a media company and makes VR games. Whoa! Yeah. 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 Fun Ooh. fact. I like that. Uh, um, uh -huh. You know, and Reggie. Who and Re want to Reggie, with Reggie. Oh, of course. Um, so yeah, we actually have our meeting tomorrow. So after this, I get to go finish playing some games for work, and then um, <laughs> heck yeah. And then um, there's a short film about me premiering here at Tribeca Thursday, and I'm very happy that Eugenio and Sam will get to be with me in person. I'm so um, excited well to see you friend. and your movie. Yes, as well as our buddy Kelly, the opera geek, and uh, Nora and Kay Jemison. So we'll all be there. So obviously nothing for me on Thursday. I won't be on Black Dice Society. And uh, we are taking a break for Motherlands because I'm here. Michael Kurtz may or may not be traveling. And uh, even though we're not having our usual weekly episode, go check out the Kickstarter. There are six days left as of today's episode. Oh, dang. And we are close right. to two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Wow! Some newly wow. revealed, some newly yeah. revealed stretch goals that are those pretty goals awesome. are just keep going. Can't, can't yeah. So yeah. So uh, B. Dave Walters now has to write a comic book. <laughs> yeah, you should. Oh, uh, crap! What? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. He'll no, I was fine. gonna say while the Kickstarter is still up, go go force B. Dave and all the other wonderful people who create content uh, to do more work and create more good <laughs> stuff for you <laughs> by doing that by supporting them. What makes them able to do this incredible job? Uh, yeah, go check out that Patreon. It's definitely worth it. Use that code and unlock the Kickstarter, Police Kickstarter. and Shaka and Idol Champions. Do it. Yes, yes. yes. Go. Yes. Oh yeah. Thank you. I didn't. I I didn't get there because I got caught up in the Kickstarter hype. Yeah. But yes, I'm finally in Idol Champions. I finally unlocked my own character because it takes <laughs> eight billion gold apparently. Or they didn't just, you didn't just Quincy. unlock Solis. You have to grind to get Solis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, have to, you have to grind, and then there's events that she's in from the start. It's like yeah. you know, but you got You got to earn your way up there. It's all good. You got to get in there and play. You gotta get it. Sure. Celise does make you work. Lauren is absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> but then, uh, but you know, I'll be home. We may do something in lieu of a regular Motherlands episode because we are so close to the end of the Kickstarter. Yeah. So if we do anything uh, with not the regular cast, but maybe some of our developers, keep an eye on our Twitter. And uh, yeah, I get to go play games for work and see you, Henio. I'm so excited. You're all gonna have a good time. Please take Excited. please take good photos. I can't. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. Good ones. Just take photos. Good photos yeah. But I'll take photos. Yeah. Yeah. photos. All the photos, please. All the photos. Yeah, uh, and if 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 you can't be there in person, you could buy the Tribeca. Like you you can watch it online. Yeah. Oh yeah. Starting I think on the 18th. I think. Yeah. And the it's showing on BET. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's showing oh on, really? It's oh. showing on BET as part of Juneteenth programming. Nice. I don't know what time exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, there's a link in the chat if you're information for more information about the Tribeca. Oh, and Tanya's got a link for the TribecaFilm.com site. Thank you. Give me. I, I want to talk to you offline because Misha and I haven't till, uh, like finalized our Juneteenth plans. But yes. this is good. I want to build our schedule. That's uh, gonna be very fun. Um. Anyways, that's uh me. Hi guys. I'm a suit. I'm the GM, and I sometimes worry about my life when I feel like I have to. Um. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, yeah, I've got this wonderful show that you all watched um, on Sunday nights with these wonderful, wonderful human beings as we play Rivals of Waterdeep. Um, on Tuesday nights, we do Generation Fantasy, which is an in, it's a fifth edition homebrew with my friends over on Indoor Recess on uh, the D&D channel on Twitch. And then on Wednesday nights, I've got Monster of the Week with Stir Friday Night over on Roll20.com. Uh, sorry, twitch.tv slash Roll20. Um, it's a great, great time. Got a lot of good content coming up. Um, you know, 
shows are good. We're in the full swing of things, and I'm just very excited to be here and very grateful to be the GM uh, for this wonderful crew this season. And um, don't go anywhere as we're on our way out. Uh, Tanya, who are we rating? Uh, we're rating Black Combat, who is doing talk shows and podcasts. They are very lovely, and I believe uh, they're the sister or sibling, I should say, of one of my industry buddies. So I was very pleased to find that. And uh, part of Pride Month, they recently, uh, you know, reveled in who they are fully. So that makes me happy. Very nice. Cool. Hell yeah. So yes, Black Compat is doing talk shows and podcasts. So I will start their raid if you hit you can start our credits. I sure will. See y'all next week, folks. Bye-bye. Bye. Everyone. Oof. Thank <music> you.